That's right, Tanya and Terrell. Pol police have announced an arrest in this case, and they say that the person who they have arrested does have a criminal history. Now, police say 44-year-old Cesar Ramirez is now charged with attempted aggravated sexual assault, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated battery, and hijacking of a government vehicle. Early in the earlier in the week, CPD released this very clear surveillance video from a gas station in the little village neighborhood, showing Ramirez, who they believe kidnapped and tried to sexually assault a postal worker inside her mail truck. The attack happened on Saturday morning in the 2800 block of South Pulaski Road. Police say Ramirez left the gas station convenience store, hid inside the mail truck until the postal worker re-entered, then pulled her hair and directed her to drive to a nearby parking lot. Police say he told her to move to the back of the van and take off her clothes. After a struggle, the postal worker was able to get away. The suspect then drove off in the mail truck, which was recovered about six miles away, but the attacker was gone. We had video, but we didn't know who the offender was. So putting out that community alert with the pictures, that's when the citizens, they called the police. They called the 8th District officers and said, uh, I know who this individual is. Then the 8th District called the detectives. The detectives connected with those citizens who called the police, and they identified the defender, defendant, excuse me, and that's when we went to work. It is the utmost priority of the inspection service and Chicago police to, to keep our community safe. That's why we're asking the public to keep an eye out for your letter carrier. Um, you know, if you see anything that's concerning to you or you have information about a crime involving the Postal Service or one of its employees, we ask the public to call us. Police say Ramirez has been arrested eight times in the past. One of his convictions included an attempted sexual assault. Meanwhile, the United States Postal Service says this morning that the mail carrier was not injured and they are thankful that she was able to pull the lever in the back of her mail truck 